Hey guys, Chicky Domain, Debu.com with a Debu.com surf forecast update. This forecast update effective around 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, May 21st, 2016. And been a while since we've done a video update, guys, but it looks like we've got some exciting activity getting ready to unfold. Start you off with a look at a rare out-of-season storm developing just southeast of the tip of Newfoundland. Seas will be increasing in excess of 30 feet. This system qualifies for a major swell event and will produce a large west-northwest swell aimed at the coast of Africa and the East Atlantic. Latest swell model forecast 48 hours showing 13 to 14 second north-northwest swell developing and then rotating more into a west-northwest swell. There is an outside chance of some possible uh, fun little surf heading for Puerto Rico on the cusp of this low as it moves off towards the east-northeast. At 96 hours, you can see that the 15 to 18 second period reaches the Portugal coast all the way down into the West African coast. So uh, should be something coming for Jesper and the boys at Surf Camp uh, Nagor coming up in in the next 72 to 96 hours. The next thing we have is an, another area of low pressure developing off the outer banks and the mid-Atlantic. This was the same type that we saw exactly with this one. This moved off the mid-Atlantic three to four days ago and was what provided a brief little northeast uptick uh, portions of the Florida coast the other day. I know there's some uh, discussion about it coming from another low, but uh, if you look at the buoy data, guys, the buoys were showing northeast winds 20 to 25 knots for a good 24 to 48 hours, putting a little northeast pulse in the water. There is an outside chance coming up in a couple, two, three days that we could see a little northeast pulse into Florida again, just like we just saw with that last system. The forecast should be just for local, for mid-Atlantic and outer banks, and then up here towards the northeast. Seas increasing into the 12-foot range over the next 24 to 48 hours, and then as the low moves up, off the coast of New England, seas increasing up there probably 12 to 15 feet. Again, localized surf up in here from the Outer Banks through the northeast. Check your local forecast for updates on that. But for guys in Florida, here's what we're talking about outside chance. The flow coming off Florida is going to be out of the west and southwest as the uh, low moves off towards the north-northeast. The next thing that we're looking at that was getting us excited, guys, is the National Hurricane Center came on board today showing two tropical waves now in the intertropical convergence zone. Uh, if you've been following our forecast on our social media feeds, you know we were talking about a shear line that had developed out here just to the east of the islands in here. And what that did was slow the progression of the intertropical convergence zone. That shear line is now starting to diminish and the intertropical convergence zone is now starting to move on its natural flow from the east to the west. Latest 72 hour surface forecast out of the National Hurricane Center showing two tropical waves. This one right here crossing over the islands in about 48 to 72 hours. And this one now seems the trend is to hang it back just a little bit. We'll have to see what happens with that. But there is the possibility setting up in the extended forecast with these elements in an area of uh, low stationary low pressure uh, in here towards the southern Caribbean. An outside chance that we could see some homegrown development coming in the extended forecast. As we look, this next front that's coming through towards the end of next week is going to push off the South Florida coast. I know you can't see my cursor in here, but things are going to begin to stack up in here. And with these two tropical waves making their westward progression in here, the idea is something's going to gather up in here, lift up over towards Cuba, and then the Dominican Republic in the trough of that low pressure that is now developing off the outer banks. We'll show it to you in the model run. Here's the latest area of low pressure that's developing now off the outer banks. The GFS takes it and moves it off towards the northeast. But look what happens in the wake. Another area of low pressure. This is, guys, this is for Monday. And another area of low pressure. This is what gives the hope of maybe a little pulse into Florida. We'll have to watch the buoys in on that. But same scenario just we just saw the uh, from the from the other day. This area of low pressure also is going to move 
off towards the north, but models have consistently wanted to hook it back up into the northeast states. But here's this trough now developing in the wake of the low pressure. Notice how you, you if you were to see this in motion in satellite imagery, you would see it like this and like this. And so it's drawing from here. And as we go through the model run, you'll see that deep tropical moisture starts to plume it up in here towards Cuba and then over Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. This is for next Wednesday. And as we progress through the model a little bit more towards the weekend, we get our first glimpse of a little cyclonic spin coming in here over Hispaniola. Now, the negative is going to be all week long next week is easterly trades. Sometimes stronger easterly trades can develop through here and disrupt the surface, anything that's on the surface trying to develop. But it's right in here. We'll progress you just a little bit more. This is for next Saturday, guys. Okay. Notice how that line lifts now from northern Cuba, Hispaniola. This is the latest run uh, or the 06Z run of the GFS, which is now changing up the game a little bit. And this is going to reflect over Memorial Day weekend. But as you can see, this is Saturday. We've got a line of deep tropical moisture just north of the Bahamas and into the East Florida coast. And you'll see that the model wants to lift it into Northeast Florida. And this is for Sunday with heavy rains developing. And then by Monday, Memorial Day, a lot of Florida under the influence of deep tropical moisture here, guys. As we updated to you today earlier on the website, it doesn't take a name system to wreck your party. Okay, sometimes a weak tropical system can dump copious amounts of rain. Walk you through the model now a little further. This is Monday going into Tuesday. The GFS now for the first time in its run is showing low pressure in the northern Gulf of Mexico. And it's a little suspect from here, n not only because it's so far out. This is one run of many more to come, but it wants to leave it hanging in the north Gulf of Mexico and then drop it back down. This is where it gets kind of etchy, guys, but makes it do a loop and then go back into its natural progression off towards the northeast into the Big Bend area. Again, one run of many more to come. The thing to know is that the models have consistently, day after day after day, show that we're going to get off to a start here June 1st, official start of the hurricane season. We're going to get it started off with a bang. Okay, that's all for now, guys. Stay tuned for the next update. Can't stress enough, one run of many more to come. We're watching the satellite imagery. Stay tuned for the next update.